Good morning. Welcome back to another video. Um, I just self tanned last night and I haven't washed it off yet. So I'm looking a little dark. It won't look like that when I wash it off, but it is Monday morning. I just finished making my meal plan, dinner plans for the week and got those up on the fridge on our little whiteboard and I made my grocery list and my to-do list for today. So this is gonna be a little day in the life. I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. It's 8.23 in the morning right now. I just got back from dropping all the kids off at school. You guys know me and my list. I need to work out. I'm just gonna do a treadmill workout today. I need to pack orders for Wild B. I need to film a day in the life which we have started right now. I need to go get groceries. I need to wash everybody's sheets. I cleaned the whole house yesterday and I filmed that. So you probably already saw that video. in the shower and get cleaned up wash this self tan off and I will see you guys when I get out okay I just finished getting ready I'm just brushing out my curls um, I got a new curling iron recently I don't know probably a month or so ago and I am obsessed with it it's this um, Babyliss, Babyliss, whatever. I have it linked in my Amazon shop in the description box but it's so so good and I wanted to share like the hair products I've been using this is a super common question that I get over on Instagram especially I want to say thank you to Briogeo for working with me on today's video it's funny because I actually started using these products because of a recommendation from a friend and then they reached out and wanted to work with me and it was an immediate yes because I was already using some of them and then they also sent me some new stuff that I hadn't used yet which was these two things I'm gonna tell you guys about and then also my heat protectant that I've been using but you guys know I've been spending the last like three and a half years growing my hair out and getting my hair healthy and this stuff makes my hair so soft i also have the daily shampoo and conditioner but this don't despair repair deep conditioner this is like a weekly deep conditioning mask and it repairs dry damaged hair by balancing the protein and moisture it's scientifically proven to decrease hair breakage after just two uses and it's also a cleaner formula than the majority of alternatives in the repair space of hair care but it smells really really good and it works amazing it makes my hair so soft not to mention all the briogeo products do not include harmful ingredients like sulfates silicones parabens i've also also been using the scalp revival micro exfoliating shampoo it smells amazing it's a little bit minty I love a minty shampoo this scalp scrub is an exfoliating weekly shampoo that cleanses detoxifies and hydrates your scalp and healthy hair definitely starts with the scalp and everyone should be including this in their weekly hair care routine to clear up like build up and hydrate your scalp and it's also clinically shown to decrease up to 82 percent of dry scalp flaking and i've also been using the briogeo farewell frizz so this is a blow dry cream and a heat protectant and it smells amazing and it makes my like all of this stuff just makes my hair so incredibly soft as well as the days that I don't wash my hair, because I only wash my hair like once or twice a week, um, but I have the Scalp Revival. It's a charcoal and biotin dry shampoo, and it um, is a powder. It's not a spray, so 
We love that. If you guys are ready to try out Briogeo for yourself, click the link in the description box. Use my code Kristen and that will save you 15% off your order. Or you can go to briogeohair.com slash Kristen and that will get you that discount too. But they have a lot of great products. The ones that I mentioned and then more as well. So definitely be sure to click the link in the description box. Use my code at checkout to save some money and let me know if you guys end up trying it. Okay, so now that I'm done getting ready, I have got to get my sheets in the wash. Um, I'm gonna wash mine first, and I do need to wash all the kids' bedding today too. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and get my sheets in the wash, and then we need to go out and start packing orders for Wild Bee. I just pulled this blanket out of the dryer and it's one of Cash's favorite blankets. Look at him. Is that a blanket you love? I washed it for you. Is it the blanket you love? Oh, yeah, get it. Get it. The tail thump. He's such a good boy. A goofy. Goofy, good boy. That's your blanket? Uh. Laziest dog I've ever met. The laziest boy. All right, we need to pack some orders. I have such a big mess out here right now. Like all these boxes of inventory that I have not put away yet. So first I need to get all this stuff unboxed and put on my shelves before I can even start working and then this is like Amazon returns and something I need to send my sister it's a mess like I can't even work in here right now so I'm gonna take care of this stuff and then we'll pack orders I just turned on some siesta key on my computer over here so I can watch that while I'm working I always like to have a show on while I'm like packing orders or unboxing inventory, just something like in the background besides music. So I've been watching Siesta Key. I'm on season four right now. But I had to show you these shoes. This was launched on Sunday and they are absolutely stunning. Look how pretty they are. On camera, it literally doesn't do justice, but the sparkle that these shoes have is absolutely unreal in person. Like, unreal they're like a little platform sneaker love them um i don't know what my stock is like on them right now i think i think i still have every size available by the time this video comes out hopefully but i have the boutique linked in the, the description
my packing slips printed out my shipping labels printed out so now I'm gonna start packing orders I have about an hour until I have to leave to go get in the first school pickup line so I'm gonna get as much of these done as I can and then drop them off while I'm in town but I had like big plans to go grocery shopping and wash everybody's sheets today but if I'm being completely honest, it is the first day of that time of the month. I've got a massive headache, not a great feeling stomach, um, I'm tired. So after I get the kids from school, I really think I'm just gonna like chill and read my book until I need to make dinner tonight. So I got it all cleaned up in here so I actually have space to work now. It was so cluttered but now I can actually like get to work packing orders. All those packages done I'm like rushing now just in time to go get the kids but I'm starving so I'm gonna like quickly make something to eat and then take it with me okay I have to make my breakfast or it's a breakfast wrap but it's for lunch it's like the quickest easiest thing to make and I'm kind of a creature of habit so when I find something that I like to eat I just eat it for like weeks on end until I change up what I'm eating but I take some of these Jimmy Dean turkey sausage links. They're like already cooked. You just have to warm them up. And I take two of them, cut them up into little pieces. And then I have these um, Don Poncho carb control wraps. Some shredded cheese, some hot sauce, and 
two eggs. Okay. My favorite pan is dirty and I don't have time to clean it before I cook. So I put this pan with a little olive oil because this pan is a little sticky. But I'm gonna scramble up those eggs. The counters are so dirty. There's like butter on the counter from breakfast. This pan used to be really good non-stick and then somebody put it through the dishwasher. So kind of got ruined eggs and then I put the sausage in there just to warm it up with the eggs. Okay, then I move it to the center and put some shredded cheese on top. This is just some Mexican blend. Whoops, that was kind of a lot. Put that on top and then put one of the tortillas on there to help it kind of melt the cheese, turn the heat down a little bit. Okay, once the cheese is pretty melty, I stick a plate on top and then I'm going to flip this over, but I do it over the sink because I learned my lesson and it gets really messy on the stove top. So I flip it here. Mm -hmm. This is what it looks like. We've got a little crispy, melty cheese. Gonna add a little hot sauce. And then wrap it up. And there's my breakfast wrap for lunch. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I gotta go get the kids. I'll see you when I get back. I'm gonna take my makeup off, put my hair up, put leggings on. Get my sheets put back on my bed and just chill until I need to make dinner. Also, I usually do not tan my entire face when I self tan. And last night I did and I do not like it. So I won't be doing that again. Usually I just use like a makeup brush and I tan like my cheekbones and then like the top of my forehead like wherever you would put contour, but I didn't do that last night. I was like, screw it. And I just tanned my entire face and I hate it. <laughs> so anyways, I'm gonna take off my makeup. Just a few minutes left on the dryer for my sheets 
so I need to order some groceries. I was gonna go grocery shopping today, but I just have gone like downhill today with how I feel. So we're not going to be doing that. We're going to order Instacart. Thank God for Instacart shoppers, lifesavers. Um, I just have a few groceries I need to get because I have HelloFresh this week. I got four meals from HelloFresh and they got delivered Saturday. So I cooked one last night, Sunday. So I've got three more. Um, so I'm gonna order my groceries, get my sheets on my bed, and then I'm going to crawl in this bed and read my book until I have to cook dinner when Donnie gets home from work. Groceries are ordered. Let's get my sheets out. Okay, so the book that I've been reading is Layla by Colleen Hoover. I've read almost all of her books now. I think I only have like two or three left. Um, the one I read before this was Heartbones and I finished that in two days. I started this yesterday at like 3.30 3, 3 or something like that and I almost finished it last night but I couldn't keep my eyes open. It was like... 11 o'clock at night and I couldn't finish so I only have like that much left so I plan on finishing this today um if you haven't read Layla yet it's definitely different than all the other Colleen Hoover books that I've read um it's more like it has like paranormal type stuff in it which is not like most coho books so the ones that I have left are Without Merit and Confess um i think these are the last two that i have of hers to read i'll have to check and see but i've read all the other ones so i am going to relax now i was gonna get like in bed but i'm not going to i'm gonna snuggle on the couch with sissy okay <laughs> i'm gonna read out here there's there's that smelly gashy boy Les, getting his blanket Oh goodness, feet. Get it, Cashy. Get it. Just finished making dinner. I made one of our fair, very favorite HelloFresh meals. So there's mine and Donnie's bowls. Eat them up. Yum, yum. Eat them up. <laughs> Here's the kids. Um, Berkeley's, Brayden's. Brody doesn't like rice, so he's just having the meatballs with the sauce, some green beans, and then the kids are having fruit with theirs as well. Berkeley's setting the table. You gonna tell the boys dinner's ready? Firecracker meatballs is the one we made. All right, kids are doing the dishes now, getting the kitchen cleaned up after dinner. Donnie will not stop singing Morgan Wallen last night. If you haven't heard them. it, don't tell them. Like nonstop. Like I love Morgan Wallen. You guys know that. I love but he will not stop singing this one song, and so I'm like, <laughs> you like Morgan Wallen? I love Morgan Wallen. It's like when you hear the same sound or the same song over and over again, it starts to get annoying and I don't want it to, to be annoying, so you've got to stop. <laughs> and he doesn't even sing it, he's just like... He's like, do? <laughs> no, that's you doing that. Anyways, I'm gonna go take a bath. Careful, Careful. baby. Good job. This is kind of our nightly routine. I cook. Actually, Donnie helped me cook. Whenever we have HelloFresh, we end up like preparing it together. So that's fun. Um, but the kids do the dishes. Yeah. Berkeley and Brody unload. Brayden loads. Donnie helps like clean up the counters and everything. 
and I say peace out. I'm going to take a bath. You good? You okay? Um, so anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Don't forget to check out Briogeo. Linked in the description box. 15% off with my code, Kristen. I will see you guys again very soon in my next video. Bye.